Hey there everyone, this is MarkyMan64 here welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play LEGO Jurassic World on the PS4. This is episode number 33. So we are back on Isla Sorna uh, and we are going to go in straight into the next level on Isla Sorna. We have half the mini kits already because the we came in and got the uh, amber and I think while we did that we got a few mini kits. I, I think that's what happened. There's also quite a few of the mini kits that you can get while you're while well, you're you're playing the the level, so that there's a possibility that I could Here's have got it in that. I'm just trying to explain why I didn't get any mini kits in the first part of the level and why I got most of them in the second part. Well, hey. You let a twelve year old go parasailing alone. Wait, yes, okay, we we did come into the the free play. I was wondering why the why the the cutscene was playing because it doesn't normally play like that. But anyway, we are destroying these plants because I know that there's a yes. Okay, you don't actually need to destroy anything. There's a velociraptor bit over here that I need to sniff as the velociraptor. Don't don't question. Don't question this, this uh, the ability of this skeleton velociraptor to to sniff. I mean, to be to be fair, don't question the fact that the velociraptor can stand. <laughs> it's the ability to stand. Okay, so here's the point over here that I need to go into. Yes, there we go. And there's the sixth mini kit. So I think, is it four that I have to get in this, in this area? That head is my head, is it not? Like this head over here is a velociraptor head. <laughs> it certainly looked like that. So let's pull Alan out of here. That is quite a fun scene in the movie, I must say. Um, the, the, the last movie, the, the, I can't remember what the movie's called, the uh, Jurassic World, the, the, uh, something to do with Dominion or something, um, came out the other day, like it's now, it's now out, so I have, I have mentioned that it was coming out and it's now out, I haven't watched it yet, I, I do kind of want to go and see it though, like I would not mind, I would not mind doing that but I will at some point. I'm also looking at the arrows and I know that there's a few bits around here that are out with the story so and there's a few bits in the story but I just need to remember not to um, there's one bit right at the end where you obviously like go into the next part of the of the level and I need to remember not to do that until I've finished all the mini kits from this part. So then the Spinosaurus is distracted and so I want to switch to the T-Rex who is going to be able to fight the Spinosaurus with these quick time events. Hit them, hit them properly. Okay, and then build a bridge over here, but first let's break this down and build up the first of three of those nests I need to build. And then the, the, second, the second one is just here to be able to build up there and then I want to switch to Barry 
who's going to be able to shoot this down. And I thought for a second there that that was the last one, but it's not. It's uh, the last one is further on. So then build this up. We're building a, a slingshot. So I want to turn this and it's going to pick that up and then I want to switch to Alan. Get him away kid! <laughs> I can't remember who this is but he's in my way. So then we're going to hit the Spinosaurus with eggs <laughs> and one of them's one of the dinosaurs is going to pop out of the egg which I don't I uh, think is very accurate but oh well and circle and X it's pretty much you know the the fight itself is pretty much the same every time but that's okay we're used to that <laughs> we're really used to that uh, okay, so we want to switch to Barry, who is going to be able to pull this. I can't actually remember what, why we, oh right, okay, we wanted to pull that because then we can build, I think it's like a trampoline that I'm building. Do we need another, another bit of bone? Possibly. Is it under here? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> now I'm just... I'm just talking about what what is there, and it's not a trampoline. It is a, a um, seesaw thing. Right. Okay. I don't. I don't think he can use that. No. Okay. So I need to switch to him, and then switch to a grown up. Yes. He's going to be able to jump on that, and then. What what is that pointing at? I have a feeling it's the where the the eggs are. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I couldn't see them there. Okay, no, don't, don't don't do that. Do this. Right, there we go. Okay, and then I can't remember. Oh no, there's there's one over there. Oh no, <laughs> I've missed that one. Okay, I'll come back and get that one that's over there. I can see it and yes there was, I, I knew that there was one that I, I needed to remember and do. So there's no point in going forward and then yeah I can I can come back in straight back in uh, but what I'm going to do is go back to the island back to the island and then go in and I will cut to when I'm there. So it's a it's a rock that I need to destroy with a uh, with the hmm, I forget the name of the dinosaur. Um, pa pa Pachycephalosaurus. That's the the word I was looking for. Pachycephalosaurus. I need to use in this. So I will meet you there and what I'm going to do is pick the Pachycephalosaurus. No I can't pick the Pachycephalosaurus. How many times can I say Pachycephalosaurus? I don't know. But I'm going to switch, I'm going to cut to when I am there, right? Let's do this. Okay so I'm actually where I was when I thought I'd messed up because I got mixed up. So what I have to do is hit the Spinosaurus with that tree. So continue on. I wasn't too far past it. I knew there was a bit like this that I needed to get. And I knew that I needed to avoid uh, going to the end too soon. But I forgot that those those two things were the same the same bit. So I have to hit this. There we go. Okay. And oh oh no, okay. I didn't mean to switch the T-Rex. But that's okay. Because there's still another bit to go. Or still another mini fight to go that I can get through. And 
and then be one of the other characters and then go over here for this mini kit which now that I do it I can then go into the next part of the level and that's okay <laughs> so yeah I, I got I got a little bit mixed up with that but that's okay because we are into the last part or the second the second part which is the last part of this and we only have one mini kit to get because as I said before uh, there were a few that I'd already got and I'm going to destroy these dinosaurs destroy them as Mr. DNA Mr. DNA put them together and so I'm going to destroy them as Mr. DNA is the last mini kit the thing that I hit with Barry up there and can I hit it from here? Possibly. Um, because there's a mini kit that... No. Okay. So the mini kit is further over and so I need to go through the level basically but that's okay because I remember exactly what to do with this level which is handy. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really, but I will, I will figure it out. So I want to switch to an Agile character, Lex will do, and I don't want to, I don't think I want to get that, but let's get them anyway just in case, but I'm pretty sure I got this mini kit that is the one of, one of three items and don't question what is happening with Mr. DNA there. Okay, there's a few different mini kits that, nope, I want to be Mr. DNA and then I want to switch to Owen who's then going to be able to come over here and use his knife to cut through this, which is obviously a much more sensible <laughs> tool to use for this and yes it's, it's kind of annoying that I need to play through this whole level pretty much uh, just for this just for this one mini kit that is probably near the end I'm, in fact I'm pretty sure it is at the end if I'm thinking of the right one Like I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. Okay, Alan, you are able to build this trampoline. I did say earlier on trampoline and I was thinking of this, but I knew that there was a trampoline involved in it. So uh, Billy is the only character that I know can climb and Owen. Billy and Owen can climb, but we need Billy to, to get this, even though he's already got it, uh, the ability to to use the parachute to get over here and then I want to switch to Barry who I have a feeling yeah is down there so I'm going to make sure that I don't fall off this because I want to switch to another character um, who can do who can do this Paul Kirby see if I can see, yeah there he is, Paul Kirby can do this because then I don't need to switch a character who can't, oh no actually what I could have done is just push this off which is then able to be used to get whoever I want up here so I could have used, I could have used Barry but oh well that's okay so then I want to switch back to Billy who is then well he has a, a target but let's first of all um, switch to Mr. DNA if I can Mr. DNA I'm pretty sure like I said that I've got that mini kit already but I thought, I don't know why Billy never saves as one of the, the characters when I've got him like that. 
Okay. And then come over here and then switch to a character that can go in the mud. Who Ellie is a safe bet because I know that she can. But as I said, and the arrow seems to be confirming this. I'm pretty sure I know what one I'm missing. And it's not that one. <laughs> um, but then we switch to Alan. I'm just going to like go forward and pretty sure I know which one I'm going for. I can't cut that vine. There we go. And there's the laugh. Uh, the Lapisauruses here, which are going to attack me, but I can remove them. They seem smaller to me than when I become the Dilophosaurus. I, I don't know if that's the case, but they definitely do seem that way. Switch to Mr. DNA and he's going to take that out, but again, I already have the mini kit for that because I'm pretty sure the last mini kit is through here which is literally the last one that you would get naturally but there you go so that is 10 out of 10 mini kits and I'm going to return to island from here because I do like the the idea of not finishing a level that I don't need to, to finish because I've completed it so, what dinosaur is this? It kind of looks like the Spinosaurus, but it doesn't have the, the spine on it. I, I don't like how it doesn't show you the name of it. <laughs> I just have a bit of a problem with that. But we got all the mini kits, so we got a gold brick for doing that. And what I'm going to do for the last little while is do the same thing as what I did I, in the last episode, I'm going to go back, I don't like all these gold arrows, it's a bit distracting, but we're going to go back into here and I'm trying to think what the nearest map point is to these things because I'm pretty sure this is the map point that uh, has the that glitch. I might be wrong, I might... The, a, a, a while ago now, there was a, a map point that I went to and twice I went through a gate and it, it glitched out and I've not been able to forget about that but it wasn't that map point. So I think what I'm wanting to do is get a larger dinosaur who is able to break the ground but I'm also seeing this gold arrow over here which I don't know what that's pointing at. It seems to be like outside this area slightly, like over the the water. So I might need to like cross hmm. the, the yes, river. That could be right. This could prove to be very interesting. Okay, so very I want to yes, yeah, shush shh shh. shh. <laughs> uh okay. I, I just I just really like the um Brachiosaurus because it is massive, but I don't know whether it's <laughs> any good for what I want to, uh, to do. I'm just working on a few theories about Triceratops. Most the, the, interesting. Yes. Yes, this data is invaluable. Yes. Although okay. there's still the question. Th this, could, this could take a while, folks. <laughs> I, think, I think it was reading the fact that I was near her for longer than it otherwise would, just because part of me was near her for longer than it otherwise would. I I think that I am able to cross this bridge with this dinosaur. If I'm not, then there is a slightly smaller one. Yeah, okay, I can make it over. But it made the the Triceratops glitch out and it it did start to make the this one glitch out as well. And I see that there's an arrow over there which looks like yeah, that's that's compies that are around that area, eh? and uh, I need to remove remove them with some T Rex P. So be ready for that. And oh, okay, and that's interesting. That's quite fun. It's not affecting this dinosaur whatsoever, but that's okay. So let's switch to one of my human characters. 
And for some reason, he is low on health. I have no idea what happened for that. But let's go round here and then switch to Eric Kirby. It's been a while since we've cleared some dinosaurs away from an area with some T-Rex P. Okay, so there are a few more in this area, or there is one more. There is that one that I was confused by in this area, which I, I now see. So, confusion, confusion no more. <laughs> are they just falling over? No, okay, so like they are just going back and forth so I can do that like a proper gymnast and then fail at the last second <laughs> but that's okay um so yeah that's all of the gold bricks all of the gold bricks in Jurassic and the in this what's it called in Isla Isla Nublar the the first movies Isla Nublar part but we do have this red brick here, so I am going to go to this map point and you know what? Give me two seconds. I'm going to switch somewhere somewhere else and then switch back again so that I'm not flashing red like this because there's no easy way to, to sort that. But anyway, let's do that. Okay, all I did was just go into a level and then leave again. Um, but I'm pretty sure... No, I didn't get this red brick. And I knew that I didn't get this red brick. Oh, hey there. Any but you know how to as use this? far as yeah, I remember... For the dinosaurs. Yeah, what what does he say? It out. Oh, that's it! Uh, right. The dinos will never go hungry ever again! Except yep. the carnivores, but I guess that's what the staff are here for. <laughs> I do quite like that. Um, right, okay, so I do remember this one being a, a little bit funny with the... it's a little glitchy, but I do need to remember and release that and see what... what did that do? Alright, okay, I need to turn turn the top and then that, that does something. I don't quite remember what, um, but I need to pull that and then release it, remember and release it, because if I don't release it then the dinosaur can glitch out. Yes, that was lots of studs that time. Okay, so I need to turn it again. So then the green light. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, a, like if there's a kind of visual solution to it, I don't know what that is. I'm just turning this and then the light goes green and then I'm then able to, to do stuff. But I'm not 100% sure that I'm actually doing what it's intending me to do. I would imagine that that, that now works just because it's the the third one and there's three of them there. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so I didn't I didn't really understand what I was doing for that one. But anyway, that is us finished the first Jurassic Park section of the game, which is exciting and nerve wracking. I don't know why it's nerve-wracking. I don't know. I don't understand. Um, but yes, we have played through that and so we are now going to go into the third Jurassic Park section because we've finished the first two basically and so now you can see that there's quite a lot of, of stuff to do in, in this section and I was kind of avoiding doing too much because well where where is this is this yeah this is the landing site so we can get a couple of the gold bricks that are around this area okay so we are here now and I have a feeling I want to get a dinosaur that can that can roar but I 
Oh, I can get large dinosaurs, okay. I was gonna say, I don't think I can get large dinosaurs, but I do have that custom Stegosaurus, which I think we've used like once uh, in a place that you couldn't get the... You couldn't use large dinosaurs, but you needed to destroy something similar to this. But is that going to give me a gold brick inside that? Or do I need to destroy... Alright, okay, I need to destroy all these velociraptors that are bones. Uh, how many do I need to destroy? It's, I don't see a number coming up, but that doesn't mean that one isn't coming up. Oh, one is coming up, but I don't... I think there's ten. I need to destroy. Okay. There we go. Okay. It, yeah, that took a long time. But yeah. Wow, the T-Rex has a lot of hearts. Uh, which does remind me that I was wanting to look into uh, getting invincibility. If that was one of the options, which I believe it is. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything around here before I go up there because I have a feeling yeah there's a gold brick inside this dark area so switch to Ian and get this gold brick Okay, and that seems to be a good way of of working, is to, to just complete one of the levels. I'm going to switch to Ellie just so that she can jump over over that. Um, and plus she needs to dive in. Okay, so this, this is quite a confusing one here, and I'm not sure whether I'll be able to do it before the, the level is complete but I'm pretty sure there's like multiple oh man I've, I've done it wrong haven't I uh, there's there's multiple there's multiple oh man I'm gonna need to switch to Ellie again so that you can get over here and there's multiple eggs that I need to collect from different places which I'm probably gonna end up doing in the next episode but let's see Let's see if I can do it. I don't know how far away they could be. But let's switch to the Velociraptor. Okay. As I said, I don't know how far away it could be. Or certainly the start point could be. From where I'm going to end up. But I'm guessing that this is this is it because it's going to pretty similar area. Okay, is it going to dig up another one? No, it's going to dig up a gold brick, which is all right. That's that's good. That's good too. <laughs> okay, so let's cross over here. And I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. I don't remember what happens if you leave. I I can see where the next one is anyway. Let's try and get this. I can see that the next one is up this tree. I'm guessing. And so, grab this egg and bring it back. And then if I become the Pachycephalosaurus and break that fuselage, will that allow me to get a third one? Or is, is this the third one over here, maybe? Let's switch to... A character, yes, um, I forgot that I had Alan already out. Yes, that is, okay. That, that always, 
like kind of made me think that it was a confusing one, but it's not all that difficult. <laughs> um, there might be a similar thing somewhere else. But yeah, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. But let's say break through this with a Pachycephalosaurus and see what happens. So, switch. And it's just a gold brick. I thought it might be. So we were carrying a gold brick all the time. And <laughs> the Pachycephalosaurus caught it with his tail. That, that, is, that is okay. So, there is another gold brick over in this area that we start from. So if I switch to one of my human characters. And... I can't... is it this? Yeah, it'll be... Um, there's, there's something to climb up here. So I'm guessing that this will lift me up to that. Yes, and then and then I'll be able to climb on this, and then climb onto this vine, and get this gold brick. There we go. The gold bricks really do add up because, like, that's this whole section done. And I know that it looks like there's loads of stuff, and there there is, but like they really do seem to add up. Um, and also there's there's some areas that are not in the, the map and I, I don't think there's there's any of them in the first movie but if there is then I will I will do those areas but I, I don't think there's any of the areas like that. Like if you go into uh, this, there is like, this area is, is a kind of, yeah yeah so the, there's a symbol there that shows like an entrance way. Um, but where's the... yeah, yeah, yeah. So this symbol means that there's some other area, this orange symbol means there's some other area that, that perhaps has things in it, which I don't think there's any of that in the, the first, other than the visitor centre. I don't think there's any equivalent area. So that's good. So anyway, we are going to leave it there folks. Join us again for another episode of Let's Play Lego Jurassic World on the PS4. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks everyone for watching. See you later. Bye bye.